All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting out here in parts unknown, getting ready to do a function test on this guy right here. Now this week we put the, uh, we took out the Seekins Precision Barrel, which weighed almost down there two and a half pounds, two pounds, 2.5 ounces, and replaced it with this guy, the X2 uh, Development Group uh, Fluted Barrel, which weighs one pound, 5.7 ounces or 5.2 ounces, whatever. Significant savings in, in weight. Now I've never fired this thing and, and it's kind of ashamed of it. So this is going to be a lot of times we're going to do a function test. Big thanks out to the guys out there at Ultradine. Next week we're going to bring this thing out and we're actually going to take it out to Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. Not this week but the following week. And I'm going to show you how to zero these guys. The Ultradine uh, precision irons is what I call them. And we're going to go ahead and suit it up with the primary arms. Now uh, this guy has the LWRC stock kit, which is a short, short stock, if you can see, um, as well as the Law Tactical. So this function test is that it ought to be fun. All together, this thing right now is eight pounds, okay? But the optic on there, it's under, under 12, uh, under a pound, so we're going to be under nine pounds with a full setup with all this crap on it. So let's do this. First round down range, we want to see if we're going to lock back, okay? So that's check, checking the gas system and the bolt. And the, almost everything. So here we go. I always try to do this when I'm doing this. And what do we have? Lock back. Okay, so now we're going to throw two rounds. We're going to see if it cycles. Well, I'll throw three rounds in it. See if it cycles with a lock back. Stand by. All right, it might have been just the way I was holding it. Man, it just didn't feel like it had any recoil at all. All right, now that I know it's probably not going to blow up. And you know what? I'm still trying to figure out who makes that trigger. <laughs> can't remember. I looked at all my past videos, even a couple of my friends who may have sent it to me. I don't know. So let's do this. Oh, I got to put the sights up. I'm going to see, see if they're remotely close. I like the uh, ejection pattern, okay? We're not going back, we're not going forward. We're doing okay. So the recoil is not existing in this thing. I'm very surprised. I'm really surprised because I can't see shit without glasses on. But this range is actually goes out to 300, but we're not gonna do that today. Let's do three more rounds. And uh, wow, this is nice. Spikes tactical lower. Yeah, man. Heck yeah, stand by. We're in game lands range. This is why I gotta renew my membership out there. Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. <laughs> Simply because they gotta go by uh, hunting rolls, which is three rounds <laughs> in the rifle. All right, let's plug it. Let's do some real quick here. Here we go. Dude. I'm absolutely blown away. All right, well, I'm not going to waste any more ammo. We know the damn thing works. All right, now all we got to do is zero it in. I'm running a mil spec uh, charging handle right now. I'm trying to make up my mind. We're going to do uh, reviews on charging handles tonight. I got a couple of them that I want to do. I have my pick for what I want to put on this thing. It is simply a go gun. I actually took it out of where I am staying right now in the back of my bag, my backpack. I threw a sock over the top of it. All right, how to function test a rifle. That's how I do it. I hope you have it and do well as well. Don't blow yourself up. It's KB32. Like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. It's a 20 round mag because YouTube says you can't do a 30. And you can't say certain words on here that in and com. I found that out. So with that, y'all be good. Have a great day. Boom. Thanks for real COVID burnout. You the man.